What up everyone? Welcome to StackBMX.com's YouTube channel. I'm Ken Sapale. Today we're gonna do an explain and review on the SE Bikes Raise It Up railed seat. That's right, check this bad boys out. So all three of these seats are the same exact seat in just different colorways. And I'll explain a little bit about all of them. So, uh, yeah, if you're wondering if this fits your bike, hang tight, because later in the video, I'll tell you if this seat fits your bike. So this is a pretty fat seat. This seat's designed for BMX bikes, 29-inch uh, style bikes, and you know, I mean, other style bikes. Uh, but it's very hard to determine if it fits your bike. But if you look at the top, this is pretty fat. It's pretty fat padded. Most people are looking for a soft See, um, this one is relatively soft. And when I say relatively soft, I mean it's right out of the package. It's kind of soft. Um, it's not super soft and it's not hard like the, a lot of the other ones I've seen. So from my experience, experience, as you ride the seat, it will break in and it'll be a little bit softer, mainly because you're stretching the material and you're kind of just breaking into the foam and stuff like that. So this one is a moderately soft seat. So if you're looking for a seat that's moderately soft, this is the guy. Um, another thing is, is that I noticed that it has a different style texture on top. I don't know if you've seen that, but this bad boy has like a rubber style padding on it or something. But uh, it's just basically like a cover that's like rubber coated. So they designed this thing for a lot of guys that are doing like seat combos and doing knee knocks and, you know what I mean? You know I mean, standing on the seat and doing different combos and stuff like that, where they stand on their seat or they need grip on the seat. But also too, when you're riding wheelies, when you're swerving and stuff like that, it really helps grab your 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 clothing and allows you to stay in the cockpit a lot easier. Um, so I've run around the shop here with one of these seats on another bike and it absolutely felt amazing to do a wheelie or to kind of swerve and stuff like that. Um, mainly because it just grips so well. I noticed a lot of the other seats are like a leather and you tend to slide around. So just having that top on here makes it super dope. Uh, like I said, this is a pretty fat seat uh, compared to like the Pivotals and stuff like that. This is a fatter style seat. It does have bumpers on it. It has a white uh, front bumper here and a black bumper here. On all the other seats, it also has the same thing, but the gray one has a black one and the black one has a gray one. So. I mean, if you're looking for different colors, um, kind of kind of helps you out, kind of change up the color. Um, and all these bumpers fit each each seat, so you can interchange them. If you see a buddy and want a black one, maybe they'll trade you. But that might be kind of fun, or put a white one on here. I mean, all these definitely fun. Um, another thing that I notice is that the stitching on here, there's not very much stitching, which that tells me that this seat's gonna last a lot longer than other seats with the stitching on here and stitching on here. But another thing is, is that they have this thing double stitch, tri actually triple stitch. So what they do is they fold the material like so, they'll stitch it on the inside. Once they stitch it on the inside, they'll flip it around and then they'll run another stitch on the top right here to sew those together. So it's actually, you know what I mean, about triple stitched on there and it's definitely not gonna come apart or if it does, it's gonna be really hard for it to come apart. Um, so besides that, what I also noticed is that it has a pretty cool raise it up uh, logo on the back right here. It's all chromed out and on all of them. They're exactly the same So you can see that what I did notice on the gray one is that they ran black stitching which looks kind of cool um, On the black one. It's black black stitching. So that looks dope uh, White one has white stitching on it. I think if it had black it looked kind of weird uh, Another thing that I noticed is that it has a bottle opener right here. I'm not going to say the other word because you could drink whatever you want, but you can open a bottle here that's a pop top. You know what I mean? Simply pick your bike up and grab your bottle, flip your bike like that, it'll pop the top right off. Or you could do it vice versa, whatever you decide. Uh, whatever's easiest for you. Another thing I noticed they have lines on here so that you can see how far your seat is. You can push it forward and backwards on the rails and to see if this, to basically move your seat where you want it. If you're wondering if it fits your bicycle, I got the answer right here. So if you got a pivotal, it will not fit your bicycle. So a pivotal seat has the hole in the top. You run an Allen head to the top. You bolt it right down onto the seat post and you could tilt it either way. That is a pivotal seat. Uh, this one is a railed seat. So you can't run 
uh, pivotal post on it, your post has to be like so. And with the post like so, you can back this out. And what happens is that these rails will sit in these slots. So let me see if I can show you. Make it easy for you. These are just naturally hard to get on here. And then I'm filming it. And now it's obviously going to be triple hard. The pressure's on. And I'm, I can't, like, set it down on anything. <laughs> So yeah, I'm not gonna put it on there. I gotta back up the bolt a little bit more. I'm probably gonna drop all these guts. Let's see, I'll give it one more go. That's it. like crazy all right there we go finally got it man that was a pain on video so see how it sits up in there and uh it bolts right on and yeah you're all set to go you can angle it or whatever you got to do so it fits on this one and also it fits on these old school seat clamps as well see how it's bolted in there um obviously this is a lower tech and you're not going to want to ride this but if you have to you can still run it on here this is a little bit better technology, but this one still has a lot of flaws. You might want to step it up to a bigger post if you're still having problems. But uh, yeah, it fits on a rail post. So if your bicycle has a rail post, like most of the Thrones, the SEs, the GTs, almost any 29 inch bike has them besides the BMX 20 inch style ones, um, usually have the pivotal. So if you have one of those bikes, this, this seat will fit on your bike. And uh, yeah, if you like it, go cop one of these from stackbmx.com and support us, the guys that are showing you everything about all the products and not just collecting your cash. Have a good day.